Since in vernacular speech we notice very frequent interchanges, varieties and changes, surely by an unrestrained license of biblical versions, that changelessness, which is proper to the divine testimony, would be utterly destroyed, and faith itself would waver, when especially from the meaning of one syllable, sometimes an understanding about the truth of a dogma is formed. For this purpose, then, the heretics have been accustomed to make their low and base machinations, in order that by the publication of their vernacular Bibles, of whose strange variety and discrepancy they nevertheless accuse one another and wrangle, they may each one treacherously insert their own errors, wrapped in the more holy apparatus of divine speech. For heresies are not born, St. Augustine used to say, except when the true scriptures are not well understood, and when what is not well understood in them is rashly and boldly asserted. But if we grieve that men renowned for piety and wisdom have by no means rarely failed in interpreting the scriptures, what should we not fear if the scriptures translated into every vulgar tongue whatsoever are freely handed on to be read by an inexperienced people who for the most part judge not with any skill but with a kind of rashness? Pope Pius VII in The Indissolubility of Marriage.